Hello, Tom McGuire. So I'm just going to do a quick book review on The Madness of Grief by the Reverend Richard Coles. So I think what kind of came to my mind when I was thinking about doing this review is that the quote by Abraham Lincoln, the one that goes, I don't like that man, I need to get to know him better. That's kind of very relevant for me with this because I'd seen the Reverend Richard Coles on telly a couple of times. I'd only seen him sort of, you know, speaking on the news or you know, Good Morning Television or something or whatever, whatever it was here and there, this kind of snapshot of him. And being a typical human being, I formed a judgment very quickly. And I just kind of, I knew very little about him. And I almost just took a bit of a disliking to him, if I'm completely honest. And I was wrong to do that, obviously. But, you know, we are judgmental by nature, you know, this is a personal development channel. Uh, I always talk about the importance of being the best version of yourself possible, but we will always be judgmental. Even people who pretend that we're not judgmental, you know, we might have more control over that than, than others, but we wouldn't have survived for very long if we weren't judgmental. So we do make judgments, but unfortunately in today's day and age, we can do that to our detriment. It doesn't always help us. And I just kind of, I, I think I just thought, oh, he's a, he's a, he's a reverend. He's a bit, he's trying a bit too hard to be cool and trendy or something. He's a bit opinionated. He's a bit bumptious potentially. All the things that I am. So I was being a complete and utter hypocrite, really. I, I'm not trendy, by the way, at all. Sorry, but you know, a bit bumptious, a bit arrogant potentially. Whatever, opinionated certainly. Um, so maybe I was projecting, and I kind of thought, oh, I don't like him because he's, you know, whatever. But yeah, anyway, I took a disliking to him. Uh, I've read this book. The book's fantastic. I actually ended up really admiring him and being quite inspired by him. And I actually will read some more of his stuff, I think. I think he's a really interesting guy. Um, so he lost his partner, um, David, back at, back uh, just before Christmas in 2019. And this is sort of described as a, a memoir of, of love and loss. Um, and... Although I say, you know, this channel is personal development largely, um, I read as much as I possibly can. I read as much as I possibly can. I try and give you as much good advice as, as possible from the world of personal development. Or I read something that isn't to do with personal development and I will try and give you my lessons learned from it. I want my kids to have an idea of the sort of stuff that I read and sort of the sort of stuff that shaped me and helped me as well. So my reviews are completely honest. No one pays me anything. I don't particularly, you know, have any worries about any of that sort of stuff. So I just, I just say it as I see it. I read a lot um, and I love reading, so I tend to think that my opinion is worth something as well, but that's up to you to decide on that. Um, so yeah, from a personal development point of view, this isn't gonna give you a kind of idea necessarily of how to deal with grief. It's just one human being, one person's experience, beautifully written. There are some really lovely moments in there, personal moments from his relationship. He describes things in a certain way. He talks about things in a certain way that really gripped me. Now, I, I was on my way to work at the time. I was working in Swindon. I live in Cornwall. But I was going up there to do some consultancy work and I was on my way there and I was almost welling up at one point. So I had to actually switch it off and just put the radio on for a bit because I didn't want to go in there. You know what it's like when you're trying to hold the tears back. You get all you get well, I do anyway, I get quite tense in the head and I end up with a headache then for the rest of the day. So I just switched off for a little while because I, you know, I had to go and speak to people and do serious stuff and I wanted to be feeling fit. So I turned it off. I listened to it again on the, on the way home. And there are some really emotional, really sad bits in this book. But it is just, it's kind of really lovely as well. I almost don't want to call it lovely because it's about something so, so horrible. But it, it, he, he has just written it really nicely. Um... And I think it's really relevant at the minute as well, obviously with COVID, so many people have lost loved ones. Um, I've been extremely lucky, really, really lucky. Me and my family have been so lucky. I'm extremely grateful for that. And I've said that before and I continue to be grateful for that. But so many people have had some really horrible things going on. So it's really quite relevant. Um, and he's obviously being a reverend, he deals with death all the time. Um, you know, lots of different situations, but he kind of talks about the fact that it's very, very different when it happens to you personally and particularly to the love of your life as, as is what happened to him. You know, he talks about the fact that we're not very good at dealing with death in this in this country, really, in this culture. And I completely agree with that. I think that's something as a kind of entrepreneurial sort of person and somebody who's very keen on personal development. I think that getting the message across of thinking about our own death, I suppose, thinking about death a little bit more and kind of you don't want to overthink things necessarily, but at least kind of 
acknowledging things and not burying them all the time. You know, he talks about the fact that he thinks the Irish Catholics are better at dealing with death um, and the aristocracy, I suppose, the upper classes, whereas the middle classes aren't quite so good. And I tend to kind of agree with that. I come from an Irish Catholic family myself. Um, I lost my father-in-law a couple of years ago and they all came over from Ireland and stuff. And, and there's definitely a certain sort of acceptance of death, I guess. So, you know, he's basically saying, you know, there is no there is no cure for grief. There is no sort of quick fix, basically. You know, you deal with it the way you deal with it. It's personal to you. We're, we're complicated beings, aren't we? Um, but anyway, he just a bit, bit more background on him. He was actually in the communards in the 80s. I didn't really realise that. So he's a musician as well. Um, yeah, I'll put a picture up of him there. He's there on the keyboards. Um, he went through, um, obviously, the AIDS epidemic when that happened. Lost a lot of friends, partners, lovers. You, you can't really express it, can you? It must have been horrendous, basically. There was that really good programme recently. Um, uh, I can't remember the name of it now off the top of my head. I will edit it in afterwards. Yeah, but anyway, that, uh, one of the best things on TV recently. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Really, really sad, but so well done. Keely Hawes is fantastic as usual. And the new guy who plays the lead role is really, really good as well. It's fantastic. But yeah, so he went through all that. He's had his own personal encounters, apparently, with depression as well. Um, and like I say, I just ended up going from being judgmental from seeing like a couple of seconds of him here and there to actually feeling, feeling quite inspired by him and, and quite respectful of him, basically. Um, I have a certain amount of respect for people who are kind of religious um, to a certain extent anyway. Not always. I... I I don't tend to like the people who sort of put it in your face and kind of relentlessly. I'm not. I'm not keen on the sort of people who don't seem to be thinking about what they're saying and they just sort of throw a Bible at you and just tell you that Jesus loves all and blah 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 and they just and they think it's okay just to say that to you. Um, I don't think he's that type of person. I think he's a bit more intellectual. I think he thinks about things a bit more deeply. And I, I find that quite interesting. Um, John Peterson has done so much, hasn't he, for kind of thinking about the Bible and Christianity and stuff. And I find that really interesting. Just as, as a side note. There's a really good interview with the guy, an American bishop, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he's just recently had a chat with John Peterson, and that's really worth listening to actually on his, on his podcast, I really enjoyed that. But anyway, yeah, so he talks about, he spent a Christmas with Charles and Karen Spencer at Althorpe House, um, and he was tempted to row out and see where Diana was buried on, in the middle of that island on the lake, and that was really nice, there's really nice details in there. I just really, I just... Although it was obviously talking about a really horrible subject and it was really sad, it was kind of, it had a cosy sort of comfort, comfortness, comforting element to it as well somehow, which I, I really liked. Um, he talks about some of the people who have give, given him like hate mail and, and nasty stuff on on social media, homophobes and stuff like that. You just think, oh, that side of the book's a bit depressing. I think those sort of people are just, they're still out there, aren't they? You know, there's... If you don't like someone, you know, I wasn't particularly keen on him to begin with, but don't like dislike someone just because of their sexuality. And certainly if you don't agree with someone's sexuality potentially, do you have to write them death threats and, and nasty things about the, their partner when they die? Does that really is that in any way constructive or does it make those people kind of important somehow? Maybe it does. Maybe they're so sad that they just Maybe they're so ineffective and, and sort of impotent that they, that they just can't have any kind of positive effect on anything. So I think, well, at least if I can hurt someone a little bit, at least I've had, some, at least I've felt significant, maybe. I don't know. Feel, to co feel free to comment below on that. I'm not too sure. Um, it's so far from my mentality that I just don't really understand it. And I'd like to understand it more, to be fair, because I think it's important we try and understand why people have certain opinions. But anyway... I really recommend this book. Um, I listened to the audio book. Like I say, I was in the car on my way to work. Um, it's read by him as well. He's got a really good voice for it. He's really easy to listen to. I just really enjoyed it. I think it's it's really good. And you know, it's not a personal a personal development book. But like I always say, I don't I don't exclusively read personal development. You know, strict personal development books. Life would be pretty boring if that was. What... I like reading too much. I read about a hundred books a year. And I love all sorts of books. I've got really mixed uh, tastes, you know, I, fiction, non-fiction, everything, you know, personal development, whatever. Um, I will read some very random stuff sometimes. So th there's just so many books out there. But um, So it isn't personal development, but it's definitely one that you can take a lot of lessons from for sure. So I highly recommend it. It's also quite enjoyable if you're not, if you haven't recently lost someone yourself necessarily, or not even necessarily recently, you know, it's, 
it's going to be a painful read, you know, to a certain extent. So I would suggest being aware of that. But but a really nice, a really nicely written book, I would say. So I really enjoyed it. I, th I thought it was really, really good. And yeah, I learned not to be quite so judgmental again. I've done that before and learned and I still do the same thing again. But yeah, fantastic. So thank you very much. Keep liking, keep subscribing and I will do another review very soon. Cheers.